The announcements come as part of the government's promotion of Egypt's most attractive coastal destinations. The conference was attended by Egypt's Ministers of Tourism and Antiquities Khalid El Nani, Civilization Minister Mohamed Manar, and Razi Governor Amr Hanabi. El Nani stated that the industry is recovering and there is a noticeable increase in tourist numbers. <laughs> والأنشطة المساعدة لي زي السفاري والغوص والبزارات بنسبة 100% في محافظتي البحر الأحمر وجنوب سيناء وإن شاء الله 30-6 من هذا الشهر بإذن الله سنشهد انتهاء لقاحات كل المقيمين المواطنين المقيمين سواء مواطنين من المحافظة نفسها أو من جايين من محافظات تانية ولكن مقيمين في محافظتي البحر الأحمر وجنوب the country's economy depends heavily on tourism, which accounts for some 12% of the gross domestic product. Egypt's government has four years struggled to revive the vital tourism sector, battered by years of instability following the 2011 uprising the top long-term autocrat Hosni Mubarak and most recently the coronavirus pandemic. As you know, it was a very difficult year to the tourism industry in the whole world. But uh, since the beginning of 2021, uh, the industry is recovering uh, in Egypt. We started the year in January with 300,000 tourists per month. We ended last April with 525,000 tourists per month. Uh, this represents around 50% of our numbers before the pandemic. Egypt's Prime Minister said that the government aims to vaccinate at least 40% of the country's population against the coronavirus by the end of this year. Egypt has reported over 200,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus, including more than 1,000 deaths. The actual number of COVID-19 cases, like elsewhere in the world, is told to be far higher in part due to limited testing.